Good morning, Raiden High School. It's Tuesday, October 29th. I'm Parker Needham, and you're watching Rockin' News. And I'm Justin Card. Welcome to the show. All students and staff members, we have new Rocket apparel available in our school store before and after school. We have our new breast cancer and Rocket Legacy t-shirts for 15 each and Rocket black and gray crewnecks sweatshirts for $20 each. We accept cash only. We also have snacks available after school as well. Come and get your new Rocket gear and to wear around school and no different and to different after school events too. Game Club is having a game giveaway for a chance to win a new Super Mario Party Jamboree for Nintendo Switch. To enter for a chance to win, just scan the QR code and complete the short, film, short form. Filers are po Flyers are posted at the water fountains around the school. With the QR code as well, the winner will be selected on Halloween day. Good luck. Now it's time to figure out the rocket battle riddle. It's almost Halloween and boograms are for sale again. Stop by the main lobby on your way into school to purchase bo a boogram for those you care about. Choose a boo bat package or a devious duck package to send a friend, significant other, or staff person. It will deliver with candy and a personal note from you during announcements on Halloween. If you missed that, check during your lunch periods or stop by Miss Goff's room in C8 between classes to make sure you get a boo gets a boo gram. There will be a swim interest meeting today in C2 after school. Now let's take a quick break to watch the pumpkin patch fundraiser. So type 1 diabetes is a autoimmune disease where your pancreas no longer um, produces insulin and currently there is no cure. Type 1 diabetes can affect um, any age. I was diagnosed in 2017 when I was 5 years old. I use a continuous glucose monitor and an Omnipod that um, holds my insulin so that I can manage my blood sugar 24-7 and I also carry glucose tablets to raise my blood sugar when it's low and then I bolus when my blood sugar is high. This event is my passion because I feel like it raises awareness for uh, especially like younger kids that are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and feel more alone So, and it helps support the cause to hopefully find a cure. Great job to all the students who helped at the Clean Ocean Action Beach sweep at Union Beach this past Saturday. All of your efforts made an important impact to keep one ever of our local beaches clean for all in the community to enjoy dance troupe 
will hold its first meeting slash practice on Wednesday, October 30th at 2.30 in the dance room. It is open to all students. We will discuss the new dynamic of the club and expirations? expectations along with a short technique in jazz class. See Miss Maroon if you have any questions. Now, now let's watch a short film called The Possession. Bro, that test was so ridiculously hard. Dude, I know. Like, I probably got like 15 minutes. I bombed that. Yeah. Bro, that test was like disgusting. Yeah, that was. So I, I hated that test. What is this? I don't know what I've seen in my life. Dude, like, this is like disgusting. Come on, come on. Take a shot, bro. Hey, bro. Test day. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, what was that? Yo, what's up, Christian? How you doing, man? Yo, bro, dude, I've been seeing some crazy things out lately, bro. What do you mean? Dude, I've been seeing, like, like these cra this girl, like, everywhere. Where? Dude, like ever since we've thrown out that bear, I've been seeing some crazy things. Okay, but what do you mean the girl? Like I saw a girl standing like right by that tree right there. There's nothing there, what do you mean? Bro, I swear I saw someone behind that tree. Bro, whatever, I'm going home, bro. What? What? I'm going home, bro. Luke, I'm going home, bro. AJ, where are you going? It's not even real. Bro, yes it is, bro. Finally, almost home. Oh. Drop that. Talk this out, bro. A AJ. Whoa. Not this thing again. I swear. What the? Congrats to Bella Ionello who received a kindness referral. Bella was friendly and respectful, helping out a teacher who needed an extra hand getting into the school. Thank you for lending a hand. Now let's take a moment to watch the pumpkin painting competition. Hey guys, welcome to our pumpkin painting competition. Today I'm here with Taylor and Michael. And today they're going to be painting pumpkins to see whose is better than the other. So they're going to be painting ghosts and they're going to be on a time limit. So I'm going to win. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm going to be paint 100% painting a, a, a ghost better than you. We'll see that by the end. I'll be the judge and we'll see who wins. So let's get straight into it. On your marks. Get set. Go. This is not going this good. This has got to be good. This is not going good. <laughs> Michael Picasso. <laughs> Michael P. Yeah. Yeah, Michael P. Exactly. Michael. Fitted. It's the same brush. If anything, that's bigger. No, I just switched it. Oh. It's pretty fair to me. How much of that just got on me? How much of that just got on me? No, it fell. I'm actually almost done with the base here. Is there paint on my face? Is, there, no. is it in my hair? Paint comes off of clothes, right? I hope. <laughs> I'm trying to draw arms. Where should I make the eyes? Um, Wait, where should I put it? What do you think? On the pumpkin. Ah, smart choice. Last 30 seconds, guys. All right. Oh, God. Cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this is it right here. Oh, it's 
two, one. Hands off the pumpkins. Paint brushes down. Now that the pumpkins are dried, it's time for the bigger reel. Let's see the pumpkins, guys. Turn them around. Oh yeah. All right, all right. As you can see, his name's Jack. You know, got got some bushy eyebrows. You know. This is Petunia. She's very, she's very pretty, and I think she has much more detail to her than Jack. <laughs> The one thing that shifts my opinion is that Jack kind of looks like a skeleton to me. Oh, so I gotta give the win. Let's go! To Taylor let's and go! Petunia. Let's go! I told oh, you! I told no! You. Before we go, here's some of your fellow students telling us their favorite Halloween movie and candy. Who am I here with today? Preston. Uh, what is your favorite Halloween movie? Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Nice, nice. What's your favorite Halloween candy? I'm gonna have to go to Reese's. Are you excited for Halloween this year? No. Yes. <laughs> Who am I here with today? No, I am. What is your favorite Halloween movie? Uh, Scream. What about your favorite Halloween candy? I'd go with Sour Patch Kids. Both good choices. Are you Are you excited for Halloween this year? Uh, yeah. I'm ready for the candy. Who am I here with today? Vin. Uh, what is your favorite Halloween movie? Chucky. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Probably have to go with um, Snickers. Nice, nice. Are you uh, excited for Halloween this year? A little bit. Ready to go take some bowls. <laughs> Who am I here with today? Chloe. What's your favorite Halloween movie? The Terrifier. Good choice, good choice. What about your favorite Halloween candy? A blue lollipop. <laughs> Are you excited for Halloween this year? Uh, yes, very. I left like two Who am I here with today? James Dillon. James Dillon. Uh, what is your favorite Halloween movie? The Conjuring. Nice. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Snickers. Are you excited for Halloween this year? Yep. Who am I here with today? Uh, Colin Davis. What is your favorite Halloween movie? Um, Friday the 13th. What about your favorite Halloween candy? Skittles. Nice, nice. Are you, are you excited for Halloween this year? Not really. Not particularly. Not doing anything? Don't think so. That's all folks, I'm Parker Needham, and thank you for watching. And I'm Justin Card, and have a terrifying Tuesday.